Hello, sometimes you might have a soap that isn't especially white and you'd like to make it whiter. For today we're going to use the Palm Free Soap Base and as you can see it has a slight honey colour, a little bit of a translucency to it, uh, but it's certainly not a white white soap and I'd like to change that. So what I'm going to do is use a titanium dioxide paste and show you how to mix it up and get it into your liquid soap once we've melted the, the um, palm free melt and pour base so that we can make that soap white. So firstly we'll take a little tub of the titanium dioxide and any jar will do. This is the one I usually use for mixing up my titanium dioxide paste, just a little small jar. But today I'm just going to use a glass jar that's a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to mix around. So scrape the titanium dioxide paste out and pop it into your jar. Then in this I have just purified water and we're just going to add a little bit of the purified water to the paste. Now here's the tricky part is that you have to shake it like crazy. If I shake it just a little bit like this you'll see that it's, it's almost white but I have lumps all the way through it and it's settling down to the bottom. I've got the paste still in a big lump down the bottom and it's not really mixed through. So this is why a larger jar is sometimes easier because you can really get this really, really good shake out of it. And if you've got a stick blender, that's even better. Quite often when I do it, I'll use a stick blender just to blend it up and down a little bit. But for today, we'll make it in a slightly larger jar and we'll mix it around quite well. Now let's have a look and see how that is if I've got paste. I still have a little bit of paste but primarily it's mixed through. So that will do for me. Dry my hands so that I don't drop it. Okay. If you want to make it really concentrated add less water or add more paste but just to give a rule of thumb we're just going to use the one tub at a guess, I suppose that's probably around about 25 millilitres of water, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less. And when I look in here, I can see that it still has the speckles. It's not fully dissolved. Using a stick blender would clean all that up and fix it. But never mind, we'll pop that, um, tip that just in with the other one that I mixed up a few minutes earlier, and then we can have a look at how much is left in the container. So if you have a look in the container, you'll see there's quite a bit of the paste in there. Shaking it even harder and mixing it with a stick blender will help to clean that up for you. But let's see what happens if we don't use it all. Let's see if we just use what we've got. So essentially now I have water with the titanium dioxide paste mixed all through it. And uh, we're just going to add that into the melt and pour soap base. So I've cut some pieces off the palm free base and I've pre-melted those into, into, a, uh, into a Pyrex jug. It's just been sitting while we've been talking so it's got a little skin on it so I'll take the skin to one side and you can see once the palm free is melted it's a lovely clear soap base but it does have a slight honey colour to it. So now we're just simply going to tip some of the uh, titanium dioxide water mixture into our soap base a little bit and mix it through and you'll see our soap base now goes a lovely white colour. It does have a slight honey colour to it rather than being pure white but if I wanted to make that pure white all I would need to do would be to add some more titanium dioxide and some less water or I could put some more of this in. Remember this is a water base so as you add lots of it to your soap base you'll be making your soap a less firm consistency so you don't want to add too much but I think I'll add just a little drop more in there and stir that up a little bit more. And I'm quite happy with that white. It looks nice and creamy. If I wanted to make it pure white, I would just simply use more of the titanium dioxide and less water. Now I've got some bubbles in my soap because I have stirred it. So one spray of the uh, isopropyl alcohol will fix that. And now I have a lovely white soap base. I'll pour it into a mold so you can see as it comes out the color that we're getting. and it's a nice white creamy base. But how does that take other colours? So what I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of um, Moroccan rosemary oil I'm going to scent it with, just a couple of drops 
of the Moroccan rosemary and I've got some purple Renaissance College pigment so I'll add a few drops of the pigment in as well just so you can see how it colours up. Maybe um, three or four drops just a little bit because I just want a hint of purple in it rather than a really dark purple. Give that a nice stir and you can see I've got a nice lavender purple taking place now. Again, spritz it with the isopropyl alcohol to break those bubbles. And I can now pour that into a mould. If you have a look, you'll see the colour. And it's a really lovely, gentle purple colour. If I wanted that to be a really dark purple, I'd just simply add a few drops more of the pigment dye. But that's kind of the colour that I'm after today. And it's as simple as that. To colour up any of your soap bases or to make them whiter, use your titanium dioxide. Now, one question that we get asked about that is, why do I need to use more dye when I use a titanium dioxide paste? Well, the easy answer to that is to think about a glass of water. If I had a glass of water and I put one drop of purple food dye in it, well, let's say red. Red's easier to understand. Let's say I put one drop of red food dye or pigment dye in it, it will go red. But if I took the same glass and filled it with milk and I put in one drop of red, it won't be red, it will go pink. So if I want it red in a white base, I need to add more colour to it. And it's the same when you make your soap base white. If you need to get that intensity of colour, just add a little bit more dye to it. I'll pop these out as soon as they're set and show you what they look like.